Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, well, Richard's finding my PPT. Uh, let me very briefly introduce myself. Um, I'm from the University of Hong Kong, Department of Architecture. I'm a qualified architect, um, practiced before I joined Hong Kong U. Um, yeah. So uh, the title for today's talk is A Big Design for Penang. I will come to conclusion what I mean by big design. So here, here is where, uh, who I am. Uh, so behind me is the team um, uh, on top of, uh, after Faculty of Architecture, I also uh, uh, work closely with the Tsinghua University in Beijing and also A School in London, where I uh, studied and graduated from, and uh, my practice called Dot A, uh, based in Hong Kong and Shenzhen. So I contribute seven ideas. Uh, first idea is the city harmonious identity. Uh, my the meaning of that can be interpreted into four aspects, the harmony between the old and the new, harmony between the past and the future, the harmony between different cultures, and the harmony between various religions. That's pretty much the, uh, my um, uh, first impression of uh, why uh, being in Penang this time for the second time. So um, if you look at the map of Penang, you know, we uh, uh, search the internet, uh, that's a picture where I got uh, there's a big collection variety, big variety of different architectural style, um, but behind that also the different um, lifestyle as well. Um, so how we, uh, when we um, celebrate the value of the heritage, uh, the legacy from the past, but, what, but how, what is our gesture, our attitude? Uh, when we're making the new. Uh, sorry, there's a little bit dark of that uh, fo photo where I took um, for the university uh, behind one of the uh, um, uh, historical building. This, this blue uh, glazing uh, facade where, you know, uh, to me, it, um, has some little bit of noise to the, to the harmony of the environment. So the uh, project that I want to show you is a, w a winning uh, competition scheme for Hong Kong government um, uh, when they discover a um, remnants from the old time uh, pier uh, connecting Kowloon and uh, Hong Kong. Uh, so the idea is to uh, regenerate an, uh, an the, the project, the urban project, and that you'll see the, the documentation of that um, old bridge uh, pier with all the planes, all the remnants. Uh, so the design uh, open up to the to the international uh, talents, and this is a winning scheme where you know we, uh, the, the reason why we won it is because we we not only um, emphasize or, or uh, appreciate the 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 value the the existence of the uh, remnants, but also we use a, a, a contemporary design uh, to to um, uh, enhance the the identity of the place. Uh, so the bridge actually uh, running through the 300 meter uh, remnants with, while connecting both sides of the city were also uh, functionally required because it's cut uh, a slot into the uh, new development. Second idea is uh, city strategic planning. So uh, it's very important before we make any planning how we stratify, um, how we position ourselves. So three ideas under that is you know, uh, how we uh, um, frame the big picture, how we describe it. Uh, and how we uh, engage with that in different scale uh, so that we can uh, look at multiple uh, dimension uh, values. So uh, the project that I brought forward is an ongoing project uh, for uh, the Shenzhen Shoko area. As you can see, we start from the region, uh, the three, three, three free train zones in Guangdong province. Uh, that's a size comparison to Penang. Uh, so we look at how we position Shoko, which is actually very end. Uh, a small uh, site, uh, but we look at the position into the uh, entire free trade zone uh, region and moving towards the uh, Shenzhen city to look at other existing type of creative industry uh, park uh, and then uh, further down to the Shoko area to see how we position the site as a brain to the, to the creative economy uh, industry. Next. So it's just a glimpse of you know uh, one uh, of many slides. Uh, so we we uh, it's, it's really like the work for the design brief. How we uh, design the design, how we um, um, uh, plan the content, make that form a, a kind of um, holistic ecosystem, uh, so that ideas they, they support each other. From you know we kind of like have an analogy to the to the uh, natural system. So from the sun, which is the captain professional resources. 
uh, through the creative learning valley to uh, the water and nature. In our case, it's a cultural context, what we have for the cultural aspect. Uh, uh, through the creative uh, cloud, have this, uh, we call the air, like a policy in the social um, resources to support. And then using this uh, symposium, uh, creative symposium as a mechanism to further feedback to the, to the top. So create um, uh, uh, two circles, uh, ecology uh, ecosystem. And then the question is, you know, when China raises uh, one road, one belt, uh, a national uh, strategy, and actually Penang were on the, on the um, route of this uh, 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 design the belt, uh, and that's where Shenzhen is. So how we um, also take the opportunity to, to participate the, the growth, um, uh, and such as you know, the railway uh, for the infrastructure, even the, the bank, Asian infrastructure, invest in the bank, so that give us opportunity. The third idea is about city village co uh, coexist. So I'll show you the uh, example that we did um, in some of the uh, Chin Chinese villages where we documented not only the architecture, but also the life of people really understand uh, what their current status, what their need, and also give uh, advice or suggestions on how we uh, standardize their uh, uh, building with maybe new material uh, manufacture, as well as some technology applied, such as a computation where you have to identify the, uh, based on the GIS information to uh, detect the appropriate uh, land for building uh, buildings. Uh, and and pr provided with also a system uh, for the standardization so that it can also help the manufacturer as well to participate in this cultural uh, change to the, to the human uh, habitation in the village. Fourth idea is about uh, city growth knowledge. So, uh, see city as a single tank. We uh, see the city impact, such as the Shenzhen Biennale, which is uh, probably the one only Biennale about the city. So, it's been five such Biennales in Shenzhen. Every time there's a theme, like we participated, the uh, Venice Biennale this time has a, a sole exhibition um, as a conclusion for the past decade. Uh, so, it's been a, a constant contribution from the international uh, talented. Um, people uh, for, the develop, for the growth of the city in Shenzhen. Fifth idea is about uh, city, city data uh, mapping. So we not only map the, the, the hardware, the physical environment, but also the software, the content, uh, as, a, as a form of data, uh, such as a project which uh, done by a colleague of mine uh, in Hong Kong U uh, to map out the uh, land uh, with information in Hong Kong as a, as a medium to uh, used for further uh, management and development and create many uh, follow-up research projects. And also examples like we did in the village where we map out the color information to understand what actually contribute, how we quantify the quality of uh, a vernacular architecture in the, in the scale of the village. So the six ideas about the city community hybrid, um, the project that Balfour is a recent completed project in Shenzhen, where it, in the urban sprawl, so is there's an old existing factory. So how we turn that into a hybridization of uh, brand promotion for some company, a uh, place for the as a community center for the local um, uh, people, and also education center for them to see the next generation of the ho housing in, in Shenzhen in China. Next. So this is a, a just a glimpse of uh, one of the highlight um, place, uh, the center of the uh, com uh, a building. Uh, so we transform the, or using the, the existing warehouse and uh, um, open it up for a stage that um, accommodates um, the housing uh, showroom inside. Uh, around it is a tranquil uh, courtyard, garden-like uh, space where, in fact, that facilitate the uh, activities and the constant curation, curated the programs uh, inside a commercial uh, venue, so to really seek how we uh, achieve a synergy uh, from the corporate uh, to the community. So the last idea is uh, the low carbon uh, regulation, where uh, low carbon for us is uh, really for the quality of uh, the quality of life, and it's also as a, as a lifestyle rather than technological applications. Um, and um, so, the, so, but we not um, try to promote that with a, with a really high tech. So we look at more the low tech, uh, but still scientific approach. Uh, 
so the project that uh, is ongoing is a, it's a national uh, project in Shenzhen. They try to build a paradigm for the low carbon city as an example, starting from this uh, scratch, but still existing situation where you see uh, the, with, with the natural mountains and uh, uh, water reservoir at the back with uh, a river stream running through the site and uh, around it's the urban sprawl. And also some, it's very dark here, but it's an urban village existing. So with those situations and also some um, empty land, how we um, develop this so-called low carbon city as a, um, a, a methodology rather than a, a fixed uh, a result. So one good example we found uh, on the upper stream of the river, uh, there's artificial wetland. Uh, what's good about it is it's, it's very uh, straightforward and there's no high technology. Um, but the, it's really a, a synergy between landscape design and it also creates a, uh, a farm. And so you see actually in the back, uh, there's some uh, local people hired to grow those farms, those flowers. And also what important functionally that um, recycle the water, but there's a water recycle plant. So this is again, very dark photo, but you see two levels. The lower part is the existing uh, river, uh, whereas the uh, new uh, artificial wetland um, after recycle, filter the water that will flow back to the, uh, to the existing river. So it's really a project that um, uh, synthesizes uh, many merits about the, using the landscape uh, as, a, as a means to uh, tackle the local carbon. And our, my role, our team role, came in as more um, the expert in the, how we quantify again using you know, some of the uh, computation to understand it's a dynamic model. So we, our goal is to really uh, see how we evaluate uh, through building up the spatial model uh, by looking at you know, a number of balanced uh, uh, parameters to see whether we can uh, um, optimize the urban form, such as using very, you know, the, uh, what there's a figure called um, BSC, which is building shape coefficient. So the idea is uh, if you can lower down 1% of the BSC, you can save actually 25% energy consumption of the building. So there's no technology required at all. It's purely through the, the design urban planning. Uh, and this is a, pretty much the last slide. Uh, it's a lot of information there, but the idea is to describe the steps um, in, in, uh, in parallel. One is the local, uh, low carbon eco city planning versus the conventional, how that move through down um, to the implementation, uh, implementation stage. We can talk about that later after the, the talk. So. To, to sum up, uh, the big design to me I want to uh, uh, contribute here is as an architect, it's about intelligent design. Uh, for me as a researcher, it's also uh, promoting scientific uh, design, so design research. Uh, in the end, you know, we are, we are looking at the holistic design um, as a generalist. Thank you very much.